Hi everybody, Richard Trowman's here at Artificial Lawyer TV. Uh, today we're doing a special. We're looking at Burgess Salmon, the well-known UK law firm, and its use of Auto, the automation workflow system. With us will be a group of junior lawyers at Burgess Salmon telling us about their experiences. First up is Alex. Could you tell us a bit about yourself? I'm Alex Noel smith I'm a newly qualified solicitor in the pensions department at Burgess Salmon. So where did you first come across Auto? How did you get involved with it? During my training contract, I spent four months in our in-house um, legal technology and innovation team doing a sort of internal secondment. We had a partnership with Auto in which we had access to the platform. Uh, I developed a prototype for an application that would allow a client to input factual information to a workflow and automatically generate a non-disclosure agreement or NDA in response to that factual information. A user without any legal training could navigate the workflow, input their particular factual information, and my program automatically generated a legally watertight NDA in response. When you saw, you know, no code automation, what were you expecting? The way that programming applications from scratch, of course, requires uh, considerable skill and coding experience. So I had thought that a no code platform, which allows someone without any coding experience whatsoever to build applications, would necessarily have a very basic output. So I was quite impressed by using it, by how sophisticated the platform actually is, allowing users to build quite complex integrations. So I was surprised that a user with no coding experience at all, like me, can build actually quite complex applications on the platform in a short amount of time. What would you like to build next? So what I built was a document automation tool, but I think next I'd be interested in building a PSL style flowchart to automatically navigate a particular statutory regime or set of case law. So law students and legal practitioners will be familiar with legal flowcharts, which direct the user down a particular path, depending on the particular factual circumstances that apply. What would you say to anyone else? And not necessarily junior lawyers, because it's always assumed that junior lawyers are the people who will be using the tech. It could be everyone in the firm, really. Lawyers should be curious and interested in auto and other no-code automation platforms for a few reasons. First, I think that they're very useful for the time-saving potential for lawyers, which can translate directly into cost savings for clients. Beyond that, it's also quite interesting to use. It's, it's cognitively challenging and, dare I say, even quite fun to take your legal expertise and marry that up with program design to build a fully automated system effectively to do your job for you as a lawyer. And finally, I would say it may well be the future. I don't think it's too far-fetched to conceive of a future in which professionals across different professional services industries are empowered to design their own applications and automate aspects of their role. My name is Ebony. I'm a trainee solicitor at Burgess Salmon. I'm currently in my second year in my fifth seat in the, in the innovation and client solutions team. When I heard about a no-code automation system, I kind of assumed that by the name, it would mean that I wouldn't need any skills in coding. And that appeared to be true once I started. What was your project? So our team built a tool delivering initial advice to clients who are subject to a compulsory purchase order to assist lawyers in the planning team. Lawyers would reduce their time asking clients you know, initial questions about their compulsory purchase order process. It would free up more time for lawyers to ask more bespoke and nuanced questions so that they have more time to deliver bespoke advice. Was it as no code and intuitive as, as you hoped? Absolutely. The word intuitive definitely rings true. And like I say, I don't have extensive experience in coding at all. And I found after playing around it for about five to 10 minutes, I was able to easily create workflows. And Looking to your career and more broadly across the legal profession, I mean, how do you see this type of technology changing things? It just increases efficiency astronomically. It just reduces the time that lawyers spent on administrative tasks and actually gives us back more time, in effect, to do the things where we're qualified to do and that, you know, provide legal advice, actually draw down into a client's issues, try and understand their concerns and then trying to provide advice that actually tailors to, to all of their queries and all of their particular issues. And now we're going to talk to Jason. Uh, hi, Jason. First of all, could you just tell us a little bit about your role at the firm? I'm a second year trainee at Burgess Salmon. I'm currently sitting in the construction and engineering team. 
So I first came across Auto at the beginning of this year. I took part in a trainee challenge. So with three other trainees in my year, we developed a application to help automate aspects of client matter inception. So onboarding new clients into the firm and opening new instructions for existing clients. Did you find it intuitive? So nobody in my team had any real sort of background in technology or coding. So we were a little bit apprehensive about that to begin with. But yeah, auto really is a very intuitive tool. Large aspects of it are drag and drop, and you can really, you know, build the skeleton of a tool in quite a short time. I think we were all really impressed as well with how how much data you can plug into it. What advice or takeaways would you give to anyone else looking at this, particularly perhaps some of the older lawyers who see the name auto and they're like, oh, how on earth am I going to use this? It looks complicated. It's a bit of a challenge, isn't it, across the legal industry in terms of that resistance to tech sometimes. I think once once you get involved with the tool, it, it really is intuitive. It, it almost encourages you to be able to build more and more because once you get going, you see that functionality that's there. I think we, we took away so much from you know collaborating and, and thinking differently about a very routine process and thinking differently about how you do things that can really unlock efficiency for the firm